Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Samuel Leggett representing Team JVS. I'm back again for another review. This review is for the movie The Farewell. This was directed by Lulu Wong. This is her second major film. I think her first one was in 2014. Um, but this is definitely a swan song situation because this might end up being one of the most heartfelt family films uh, of the year, honestly. Like... It, it it borders the line of just sadness, um, acceptance of loss, to just <laughs> hilarious comedy, um, and real family traditional like cycle, um, cycle of life, I guess best way of putting it. The synopsis reads, a Chinese family discovers their grandmother has only a short while left to live and decide to keep her in the dark scheduling a wedding to gather before she dies yeah <laughs> that concept alone i was like ethically if you were in the united states you couldn't even do that like you can't like okay i'm a withhold information that could be detrimental like if i'm terminally ill or something happens to somebody like that i know and i just decide to keep it from them you know to allow them to enjoy the best parts of their life for now and give them placebos like that it just sounds just unethical. But then even crazier than that is the concept that, oh, well, I'm going to give them something to love and to like in this wedding that's a fabrication. <laughs> and the concept of that is just so crazy because Billy is um, the young lady that's from, from, well, she actually she lives in America, but she came to China to go see her grandmother. Her grandmother's name is Nana or Nani. Nai Nai. Um, I think I, I pronounced this so wrong. I think I am. Yeah, let me make sure I got it right. Nai Nai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nai Nai is the one that is dealing with what her situation is, but, you know, she seems, she thinks everything is completely fine, but everybody else, whether it be Billy's <laughs> uncle, her dad, her mother, her cousins, they all are trying to keep it under wraps because supposedly Billy can't keep her emotions in check. And she was the most connected to Nai Nai. And it's like, when she gets there, like, you could tell, like, they're all sad. And, like, Nai Nai is like, what's wrong with all of you guys? Like, this just doesn't seem right. I need to get my family together. Like, you guys need to focus. Like, ha, ha. Like, she she is such a amazing performer. She's played by the actress. I know I'm going to get the enunciation wrong. I apologize. Uh, Susan Zhao, um, I think she's actually up for a nomination for Best Supporting Actor, and, um, uh, the role of Billy is played by Aquafina uh, from Crazy Rich Agents, and she's also up for a nomination, I think, for Golden Globe, and, um, and Choice Awards, um, but either way, like, the, the presence of the grandmother is just so dominant, and it's like, there's certain moments I was kind of like, I don't know if I agree with the grandmother, but, like, everything she's saying... It's from a sensible standpoint. Like everything she's saying is coming from a place of wisdom and peace and things that she's gone through herself. And it just makes it all the more sad, you know, when she's trying to, you know, get her family up and at them. I think the the last time I felt this way was when I was looking at the movie Summer Wars. And I was kind of like, yo, know, there's such a hilarious family and loving family. And then, you know, towards the end, like tragedy befell, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because like this movie the grandmother was such a prominent force uh, uh that guided everybody you know what i'm saying and i think that the, the most interesting part of it is that throughout the film billy kind of comes into her own with the acceptance of what they're trying to do from their tradition that this will be the most ethical thing to do as opposed to just letting her just know she's gonna die and give up you know what i'm saying um, and it, it, it plays on your emotional perspective as well because you, you second guess it. And, and all of them do as well. Like there's certain specific scenes, every single one of them have specific scenes where they question whether or not they can handle doing this or whether or not it was the right thing to actually do. And I think that's what makes it so much more somber, so much more heartfelt. Because I think it'd be one thing if they all were just like, yeah, this is it, deal with it, whatever. And no, they all additionally 
have this emotional breaking point. There's one conversation that I think is the most pivotal one is when Billy was having a conversation with her mom early on. And her mom, I think with, I think her, it was a death in her family and she just didn't cry. And like Billy was trying to ask why and then you find out the reason why they just don't mesh that well and just because of how the, the change that's happened within the um, from a cultural standpoint and from an emotional standpoint, from the mom standpoint versus with Aquafina's Billy. Um, so I think from a scripting standpoint, this is an adaptive screenplay, this is actually really good. Um, especially because it's actually based on a true story, which I didn't know. Um, it was very, very good. Um, it's definitely something I think that you should take your family to see. Um, even though the circumstances are really dire and sad, um, this is subtitles, English subtitles, um, not dubbed, um, but I don't think it takes away from anything. Um, just gotta make sure you focus on the dialogue and the, and the quick witness, certain things that happen throughout. There are some subjective things, suggestive things, um, but nothing nudity or anything crazy like that. It's actually really, really hilarious in certain standpoints, but it seems at times really real. Um, and really um, emotionally charged. Um, I think it was shot very interestingly as well. Like it very felt like a traditional uh, style of shooting. Um, soundtrack was actually pretty beautiful. Um, but all in all, I think I really enjoyed this film. I would give it um, 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. I give it, I rested like an 8.7 out of 10. Definitely one of the better films that I've seen this year. So definitely go and check out The Farewell um, whenever you get a chance to. Um, maybe you rent it on Redbox or maybe it's worth buying for you on Blu-ray or 4K. I'll talk to you guys a bit later on. Keep it locked. JV at Spring Stop. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell button. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the movie The Farewell as well. Peace, guys.